Good evening guys, Master so hopeful well. Welcome back to my channel. I thought let's kind of have like a sit down q and I very much gonna change my mind with this kind of video, like literally about an hour ago. Um, I was filming like a day in the life all day of eating, but I just wasn't feeling the video. And I was like, gee, look, we're going out for date night. Why don't you just sit down? get ready with you guys um and actually i put like a question box on my um, instagram and we're gonna kind of answer a couple of questions from there but very much kind of just chat now as we can see honestly i look like an absolute mess now first things first please note i am no makeup guru honestly um if you've been following me for a very long time my routine does not change i also haven't bought makeup in what feels like forever i barely wear makeup on the weekend sometimes i'm going out but otherwise i don't really but anyway let's hydrate that face Harv and i haven't had a date night the two of us since we went to canterbury and we went out for a meal which was lovely like we're kind of just in this we need to save kind of mode um and just generally save as much as we can for the renovation um, because the ball is rolling, guys. We have been in, in contact with the architect. That, honestly, it feels like a lifetime since I've said that. Right, let me check this is even and I'll come back to the camera. Now, this is honestly my go-to and yes, do I use a toothbrush? Honestly, yes, I do. This is like the best thing ever. It literally is. Get a toothbrush and it will just save you so much time and it's so easy. Although I always have this one bit of hair that just always, it's always the same bit of hair. I was looking through photos the other day, like baby G and Harv. We were so young, so just like naive thing, but just generally like so young. Like I'm like 26 this year. I know it's not that old, okay, before anybody like, oh, you're not even that old. But I just feel because we've obviously been together for like nine years this year, it just generally feels, I don't even know. I honestly don't even know, like it's just crazy. But anyway, so in terms of update with the actual house, we had a couple of different quotes and let me tell you, I actually did a post on the renovation page today discussing the, how this whole renovation stuff, we're literally winging this. We're going with it. We've made mistakes, do not get me wrong. So for example, in this room, this wall here, like the actual paint, we just spent money in this paint and it was just cracking and I was like, Harv, oh my goodness, what a waste of paint. We painted it and we shouldn't have painted it. We should have actually miscoated it and it was a waste but do you know what as they say you learn your lessons and we definitely definitely learn our lessons there you know the lounge okay so we obviously did the, did the lounge and i actually think we're gonna have to uh, plaster it anyway oh that was the charlotte not that anybody really cares because i have no idea what i'm doing that was the charlotte tilbury whatever this stuff is i love this stuff i never use foundation that's all i ever use so as i was saying we're having to rip out the actual fireplace with that is still the ceiling still has polystyrene coping basically that actually is not allowed in this day and age because if that catches fire um obviously it's so yeah so we need to get rid of that and because the lounge is not changing we just said right look let's just make sure we're doing it properly and we did find a leak the other day which honestly i just cried <laughs> i was like no it's one of those things you know as they say needs must um must get the actual proper stuff done so we actually found this house which honestly was gorgeous like it was so pretty and it was it was like an old barn conversion come back into the countryside it was all um open plan i love open plan we we love open plan, sorry. It was gorgeous. You had the kitchen into the lounge dining. You then had a fireplace and it was just stunning. It was a four bedroom, big upstairs as well, to be fair, and a lovely sized garden. Not as big as the actual garden we have now, to be fair, but it was done. Okay, so literally like none of it needed renovating, but we were we were set on it. We had um, everything that we offered um, within the first minute. We literally viewed the house and went, yeah, here's our offer straight away. This is why I think my kind of content just generally slipped a little bit. And I don't know if, Anybody notice it? Probably not, to be honest with you, because anybody really notices. But anyway, I noticed it. <laughs> so, I basically felt like it was going downhill. I was exhausted, both physically and mentally. There was other things kind of going on, like personal kind of circumstances as well. I felt very lost. Like, I knew I wanted to get out of the house in Southampton. I loved, love our house in Southampton. I absolutely love it. And everybody else is saying, like, once you know, once you've got your heart set on something, like, I was set. I was ready. I was so organised. I was ready to get out of there. But we basically, one day... We kind of were coming back from Kent and going back to Southampton. I noticed my grandparents aging, seeing obviously everybody around us, just being kind of like a bit, I don't know, it's a weird one. Okay, it's a weird one. But anyway, back to that house, the house we wanted to buy. This is our second house we put an offer in. And when it came back, the survey honestly was so bad. Like, it needed some serious money put into it. Like there was like mold into the walls. There was the, the actual drainage, the, the ceiling, the sewerage, like everything. Everything you could see needed replacing. And obviously from the, like, from the eye, it looked stunning. It was incredible. It was our dream house. It was everything we wanted. Um, but honestly, it wasn't meant to be. At the time, I was so upset. I was literally crying. Like, I'm just so upset. So we're never gonna find anything. <laughs> yeah, 
It's one of those things. Um, stress was high. Okay, stress was high. If anybody else is in the same situation, you would come to this point where you're just, I was every single night, every minute of every possible, I was refreshing, like, come on, it's gotta be some other house. I'm gonna use this refi um, thingy. It is cream blush. Um, yeah, so literally, it was, we were just, both of us were so upset because we were so set on it. We actually, mum, Harv and I were just like browsing. But at this point, um, we were just, screw it. Let's look at renovations. It was so not up, up our street, I can promise you that. Like, we found this one and um, I was like, oh, I'm not sure. But where it's like the situation, it's actually like was perfect for us. Like it was the dream, etc. Mum was back in Kent. She said, I'll go for you guys. I'll have a look. I'll know if you like it. Like mum knows if we're gonna like something. And literally she walked in and she was like, you need, to, you need to come down like straight away. You need to come see this house because the goal was a big garden. It, that was the biggest thing. The garden was the biggest thing we missed so much. And we then kind of basically from there, it obviously had, the house actually had probation. So it was kind of towards the end of probation. But let me tell you, it still took a very long time. Like I didn't, obviously I couldn't share with you guys because I don't want to share something if it's not gonna happen in that sense. Do you know what? If I'm also being completely honest, um, I don't know why we're going, we're going to DMC right here. I feel like content has changed significantly. Okay, since well, I've been doing this now for six or seven years. When I first started, it used to be kind of photos. Like I'd take, I'd go up to London, take kind of photos of kind of outfits. Then of course, kind of it progressed to very much kind of a bit more like swiping videos. It was then it kind of continued like four days eating, et cetera. And coached by George is my baby. That's kind of our child and that is kind of that key kind of priority there in that sense and I was so driven for like so focused on that and of course I'm still am do not get me wrong that just took up everything for us and I just didn't have time to think of my own kind of content and it really did take a backseat like I really got to the point where I was just like I don't even know what I'm doing right now kind of content how do I look there we go oh no not near the camera oh no that was a bad idea Charlotte Tilbury spray because of how dry my skin is. I need to keep a little bit kind of oily to a degree. Um, but yeah, basically we had to push it through to get it through to Christmas. We moved in on the 23rd and it went from there. I'm actually going to get some questions up as well. Okay, so I have a couple of questions I'm gonna kind of bounce off. Um, I'm gonna do my eyebrows. Yes, I should have done them at the start really, but honestly, <laughs> I don't know how somebody multitasks with makeup and talking at the same time. But anyway, this is like the Refi just um, this thingy, brow gel thingy, whatever this thing is. One of the kind of actual questions was confidence of being more active on social media. I think one of the biggest things, okay, is firstly, do not kind of compare yourself to somebody else. And I think this is where I very much also went wrong at the back end of last year, in the sense of, I got to the point where I was kind of comparing myself. I was like, oh my goodness, like my kind of content is not up to scratch anymore. What you have kind of got to bear in mind, okay, is social media comes in waves. Like it's literally like a roller coaster in that sense. It's up and down, up and down. There was times when my social media would grow so quickly and there's times I just haven't grown. Like I haven't grown on social media in four to six months easily. Like I haven't actually grown. And um, if anything, I've actually lost followers, which do you know what? Sometimes it can get you down, but I think what you've kind of got to bear in mind is as you kind of get older, your content changes. And that's evident, like it is evident, isn't it? Um, you you mature but things have obviously changed um and they do like social media is so big now where there's so many people obviously out there my kind of point being here is you cannot let yourself get upset by the numbers and trust me we've all been there do not get me wrong like we've all been there i have been there 100 when i'm losing followers i'm like oh god what am i doing am i boring or something but like i said you you grow up like your kind of content matures and it does change and i was so set on my kind of ways with kind of prep and i was so like oh my whole identity identity basically felt like prep Look at that snatched eyebrow. So with kind of confidence, it's doing what makes you happy and what you enjoy posting. And if you guys have noticed, you might not have. If you haven't, fair enough, I don't blame you. Um, my content has changed significantly, like I said at the start of this video. I don't know, like want to kind of obviously give you guys more value. Um, and of course, I love doing my renovation page as well. I think um, I really just use that as like a page where I just very much like post whatever I fancy in that sense. It's actually um like posting what you enjoy it's what you're kind of passionate about um like for example if i start posting about makeup like this is not me posting about makeup at all it's not what i'm passionate about like i have no idea what i'm doing as you can probably tell some of like a maybe a makeup artist watching this thinking what the hell is she doing for me kind of getting out the mics her was kind of petrifying i still haven't done it in, <laughs> in that, like in front of people I could do it in front of half like in front of my family for example that's fine last week when i was vlogging if i see somebody watching me vlog i panic and i'm like oh my goodness it's embarrassing when actually it's not embarrassing like it's so common in that sense in this day and age even after eight years and i have friends that have been like doing it longer than i have and they're the exact same there we go are they stuck down they are stuck down. Um, so yeah, in terms of the confidence, I think what you've kind of got to bear in mind is it's doing what makes you kind of happy, posting what you want to post. Do not compare yourself to anybody else. 
even if your best friend is growing kind of let's say a million followers like quickly and you're kind of not growing just stick at what you enjoy doing 100% honestly please take that, that word of advice like, I wish somebody told me that when I first started and just actually enjoy it because if you don't enjoy it that's not fun so yeah confidence it's just practice and I think it's actually discussing what you are very passionate about like for example kind of coaching like obviously with kind of um, helping clients etc I'm very passionate about that very passionate and also my clothing hauls like if you guys watch my hauls which if you don't we can't be friends I'm joking <laughs> if you don't we can't be friends um, if you you watch my hauls like you will know I love my hauls like I honestly cherish my hauls so much they just bring me so much happiness and I've loved them for years I've done them for years so it's about finding what you actually enjoy doing in that sense so next question is what is your workout split it's actually changed me a little bit most recently I've got my like mini uh mirror here my training at the back end of last year just really kind of went downhill and I just wasn't training that great um my I trained like once or twice um per week wasn't easy enough i basically lost weight obviously i'd already lost weight anyway because of my fat loss phase i felt quite small in my kind of self so i really have kind of most recently wanted to bump it up like we have a lot of kind of things going on um, and i want to kind of feel my best so for example we're heading to ibiza for my birthday which i'm so excited for so any recommendations you guys have please do fire them my way um and actually while I'm here, I gotta tell you guys this. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm meant to kind of tell you guys. I'll let you into a little bit. We are heading, okay, to Tampa. That's what I'm gonna tell you. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. So we're heading to Tampa, which I'm so excited for. That is very soon. Like that is literally just being booked this week, which I cannot believe it's happening for a second time. Like the fact that I'm going to Tampa again. Blah, <laughs> that's me. And then actually New York, which New York's been on my bucket list for bloody years, guys. Like, literally, I'm so excited. Basically, I want to feel my bath, like, better than myself, Ibiza. I just feel kind of full at myself. Just because I get to this point where I start to feel quite small in my kind of self and too lean. And I just wanted to kind of start pushing back into my kind of sessions and just generally um, start progressively uploading, which I am doing again. Like, I'm stuck to kind of a program now. I've written out kind of a brand new kind of program, I think. I didn't want to put pressure onto it and I haven't put any pressure onto it. I haven't actually taken any updated photos yet, to be honest with you. So, my workout flicks, I've gone off subject there. I am doing... Um, <laughs> three lower bodies now please bear with me i've got to move please 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 remember okay i have been training for years so i know my kind of body very very well okay i do not want you kind of copying this this is for myself and my goals and that's one thing i always kind of say to you i have the charlotte tilbury bronzer i'm doing glutes and hamstrings on a um wednesday and then on thursday i'm doing full upper body um so literally a full upper body um which i really honestly love my upper body sessions and then actually on uh friday i do quads and glutes mainly kind of quads and then on a saturday i have off and then sunday again is glutes and delts the actual um third session we have a bit more upper body sorry in there so i am still kind of training my actual upper one and a bit times across the week i just generally wanted more kind of glute focus again um and that's kind of what works best for myself we've increased my volume as well so i am now obviously training glutes more i was doing two upper two lower that was working well for me but my kind of just goals have changed a little bit um and that is okay like there's nothing wrong with that at all i have previously trained five days a week um which i haven't done in a couple of years to be fair i know what kind of responds well my kind of body and what i enjoy doing it's killing me <laughs> i will not lie to you guys i forgot just how hard kind of training three days lower can be like my butt is in pain this is the dior backstage i don't know the color yeah, I don't know the colour, but it's really cute. Can we see that? There we go. Yes, I'm using the same brush. Please nobody judge me for that. That's my kind of training split, which is working really kind of well. Like, I really am enjoying it. I am now into the third week into that kind of programme. Fatigue has been quite high this week, just based on kind of stress. So it's one of those things. It's my kind of training hasn't been like amazing it's been good but it's not been amazing that is working well for myself right now um will i drop that back down to too lower yes definitely in the kind of future but right now with where i'm currently at i am eating a slight surplus and just changing up like i've got all new movements in there honestly dumbbell sumo squat is my favorite thing ever i had this mental block with a hip thrust like a full-on mental block where i hit obviously 180 which is my all-time pb and i just generally could not go any higher like I, I mentally couldn't like mentally i just 
I blocked it. So we actually have cast glute bridges in my program, but on the Smith machine, which I'm really enjoying having that change. Okay, I had to finish my actual mascara off of camera because I cannot do this eye on the camera. So as I was kind of saying, yes, my actual split now is pretty much three lower body and one upper, which is going well. I'm enjoying it. And of course, I'll kind of keep you guys updated with how I kind of get on um, with that. And that is my makeup pretty much done. Honestly, lip wise, um, I actually just use the, right now, the Dior oil, um, just simply because I, as we can see, have no top lip. And yes, I have had filler in that top lip before, but honestly, it's, it's basically disappeared. Like it's, that was a long time ago. Um, and I'm too afraid to get it redone <laughs> because it was so painful. But I enjoyed it on like how my lips looked, but I just can't, I just can't deal with the pain. Anyone that says it's not painful, I feel like it's lying because people are telling me it wasn't painful and it is bloody painful. So I just, use this basically um i could use a liner but i know i would sit here all night like basically like licking it off in that sense so i don't bother sorted and that gives me a little bit of color in that sense are you coming in oh Thanks does so. anyone want to right Shh, that's very loud oh very loud. So, sorry sorry i'm a bit loud just so everyone know my tiktok vlog is going up today all right <laughs> I know no one's interested, but I thought I'd let you know. Half Please the turn notifications <laughs> on because it's the three dots your the right favourite influencer out of the two is here. Now, I don't like to treat myself as an influencer. <laughs> I'm not an influencer. Huh? I wouldn't say I'm an influencer. Well, you influence me pretty well. Thank you. Half are going out for dinner. Okay. Yeah, I did book it actually, didn't I? Well, can I just say it's taken you two months Okay, it's my to date night for a da to, to set To organise a date night. So I organised quite a good one, didn't I? No, I bloody organised it. You've paid. And I'm paying this time. Nine years in, guys, and this is what we're still doing. <laughs> Exhibit A. Which, if you guys don't know, these are probably the best value of flowers I've ever bought in my life. Eh? They are stunning. Let's just do that. I'm telling you now. Because you can't see your face, that's the whole point. Oh, thank you. So, guys, if you want me to stay here and answer any questions, that's what I'm here for. <laughs> There we have it. I haven't really answered many questions from you guys, but I kind of just got carried away. We were kind of just rambling, talking, um, absolute rubbish as always, no doubt. But in terms of where I'm currently at, so goals, like I just said, um, very much kind of building, obviously kind of low up body, kind of currently sitting in a calorie surplus. EVs are going very, very, very well. Literally training is flying. I'm feeling really kind of good with it. Getting some big numbers, which is amazing. I'm very kind of happy with that. I'm not kind of pushing myself loads. I'm really kind of obviously being consistent, kind of ticking those boxes, et cetera, but kind of not, going for perfection at all. I've been there and, and done that in the sense of kind of with kind of competing where it's been very much kind of go, go, go the whole time. Like right now, I'm still focusing renovating a house. We're still kind of working on the business, et cetera, business, et cetera. And I really am just making sure I'm not putting too much pressure on myself because otherwise I do overwhelm myself and I do try and do too many things at once. I'm taking the back seat in that sense. Just taking a bit of a chill pill, as they say, slow and steady. Um, and yeah, going from there. Like that is pretty much where I'm at. So I'm gonna show you guys my outfit in just a minute. I'm gonna get ready um, and kind of change, get some jewelry on. You guys know that G Netflix that I had? It's from Treats Studios. I loved it. Honestly, it's my absolute favorite. I've lost it ever since the holiday in the Bahamas. Don't know where it's gone, but I'm so gutted about it. I'm gonna now get ready um, to go out. I can't really get myself fully on the screen, so we're gonna have to make do. So this jumper is from N-A-K-D, Naked, I think it's called. I've had this for like over a year. Um, I absolutely love it. So it has like the huge thingies like this. I miss my necklace, I miss my necklace. But anyway, it's fine. Um, then I've got these. I can't remember where these are from. I'm sorry, guys, that's not much help, is it? <laughs> my Gucci belt. Then I've got these Topshop uh, leather trousers on. I actually get them from ASOS. I love them. Honestly, I love them. They do rip quite easy. So this is actually my third pair. I rebuy them because, honestly, I just live in them. And then also, this is my new child. This is my new baby. This is from Bottega. I love her. She is gorgeous. I actually purchased this in... October, I believe, last year. And I haven't, she hasn't had many outings yet, but she's gorgeous. Some people hate her, but I love her. This honestly matches every like jewelry that I wear. I've got like sunglasses that match it as well. It's just, it's lovely. It's very much a staple piece. Like some people hate it and I know I appreciate it. Not everyone will like it, that is fair enough, but I love her. I feel like she just, she goes, like she just goes. Um, so yeah, we're going for like an all black outfit with a touch of gold. I'll just put on like my black puffer jacket from, I think it's top. So we're going again. for an all black outfit. Has got his. Go on, Harv, you can show your outfit of the day. Oh, are we going for it? Okay. Oh, I'm going to hold on better. I well, definitely almost shot a boob there. The big reveal. I've got to shut the door, you know. In case the neighbours get my swag. Go on, then, do your outfit of the day. Should I start at the bottom up? 
You can't really see it, she might have to do this. Easy. Why do you make that so awkward oh. doing that? You want to want to see the bottom? Do this. Easy. 700s. I think you need to stretch. Yeah, oh, I have just done a lot of walking and cardio, but yep. Uh, easy 700s. I've gone for the triple black ones today. However, they have got the gum bottom, which is why I got those. But yes. Excuse me, I'll finish the rest of my cookie. I've got represent cargos. I've got a represent tea, which I absolutely love. It's my favourite one. I'll show the back of it as well, because the back of it's quite sick. You see it? Lift your head up. There we go, that's better. Yeah, is that better? Yeah. Right, this was last my, one of my favourite jackets. Yeah. And a baggy bomber by Balenciaga. And also these come off as well. So if I do want to get new patches. That was a half purchase. I want to go up level. But anyway, we are off for date night. So we will catch you guys in the next video. Hold on, are we not doing little highlights of the food? Yeah. Okay, you guys will see the food and then G will give you a review as well. Okay, bye. Bye.